Welcome to Cozy How To, your place for a snuggly warm learning experience. This is lesson one for the Equus Shopping Cart software. And in this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to add new products to your shopping cart store. And the areas that we're gonna focus on are SKU, which stands for Stockable Keeping Units. And we're gonna focus on how to add weight for your product. And we're also gonna talk about how to give a name or a title for your product. But before we begin, there is one thing that I wanna say. If you haven't already, make sure that you watch Lesson 129 and Lesson 130 for the Xar Web Designer software tutorials. You're gonna to wanna to watch that first because it's gonna cover some topics about the Equit Shopping Cart software that you need to see before you watch this first lesson. If you haven't watched it already, click on the link in this video that says 129 and it'll start you with that lesson and it'll go to 130 and then it will go to this lesson that you're currently watching. So make sure that you watch things in order in order to ensure that you get the best learning experience. So now that we've got that out the way, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is go to your web browser and then we're going to go ahead and go to equit.com. So once you get to equit.com, we're going to go to the upper right hand corner of our screen and click on the login button. And then we're going to enter our login information for our account. And once you're logged into your account, you're going to look on the far left hand corner of your screen and you're going to look for the text that says catalog. So go ahead and left click on that. And that's going to take you to the catalog page. And once you're on the catalog page, by default, you should be under the product section. So go ahead and click on the button that says new product. And once you click on new product, you see that your screen changes and it now says new product in big bold letters. So that indicates that you're now on the new product page. So under this page, you'll notice that we're under the general tab. And so this is going to deal with the general settings. And we said that we would focus on the SKU, the weight and the name of the product. So those are the things that we're going to focus on. So let's go ahead and enter in some information for our SKU, which again stands for stockable keeping units. The SKU can be made up of numbers and letters in the alphabet to identify different products or services that you offer. And the pound sign that you see here, that's shown about four or five times, any pound signs is going to represent numbers. And you'll see that it says pound will be changed to sequential numbers. Okay, so any numbers are going to be where these pound signs are at. Okay, so that's what that represents. But we can add in some alpha information. As you, as you know, I mentioned earlier that it can be alpha and numeric. So the alpha information could be, for example, let's assume that we're going to sell cookies. So we could write CCK and that could stand for chocolate chip cookies. Or maybe let's say that we have a certain manufacturer that makes those chocolate chip cookies. So let's call it MCCK. So that stands for Molly's chocolate chip cookies. That's what we'll make up. I don't know if that's a real brand name, but so it'll be Molly's chocolate chip cookies. But wherever the pound symbol is at, that's where numbers will be to represent this product. So it'll be made up of five numbers where the pound sign is at. And it also will be made up of a series of four characters, in this case, MCCK. So hopefully you understand what the SKU is for. It's simply for identifying things like the type of product, in this case, chocolate chip cookies, and the manufacturer, Molly, would be the manufacturer in this case. Okay, so for the weight, if we click into this box, we'll be able to enter a weight in pounds. So let's assume that the cookies weigh, maybe it's a big bag of cookies. So we'll assume that it weighs one pound. So I'll enter the number one in there. And if the product requires shipping, you wanna make sure that this box is checked and it says this product requires shipping. And I'm assuming that you have to ship the cookies to the customer. So we're gonna leave that checked. The next thing that you wanna look at is the name section. And under the name section, we can actually name that product or service. In this case, we will call it Molly's Chocolate Chip Cookies. And I'm gonna write one pound bag actually. So a one pound bag of Molly's Chocolate Chip Cookies. Okay, so now you know how to enter in the SKU, the weight and a name for a product. The next thing that you wanna do is actually save this product. So to do that, you'll see that there's a box over here 
that says save or save and close. In this case, I'm going to save and close because we're done doing everything that we need to do for this particular video. So go ahead and left click that and it's going to save that product and close it out. And you'll see that in our products list, we have a section where it says Molly's chocolate chip cookies, one pound bag. And you'll see that our SKU number is 0000, 000, 000, 000 MCCK. So that's how we identify that product based on its SKU number. So I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to embed, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for future tutorials from Cozy How To, your place for a snugly warm learning experience.